In this video, I am so excited to show you a brand new tool that's available for free online that will help you change those PDFs into interactive digital activities. And did I mention it's free? And it's easy. Can't wait. So here's video one, sign up and make your very first basic interactive PDF. There'll be other videos to follow. Step one, you're gonna go to teachermade.com. Once you're on this website that just launched days ago around September 11th, they're still doing updates. I can't wait to see this as it rolls itself out more and more. You're going to go to sign up now. If you are a G Suite school, log in with your Google account. Once you have signed up, it's free. It's free, it's free. I can't stop saying it with a giant smile on my face. You're going to notice how intuitive and streamlined this website is. You literally have two choices. You could see the worksheets you've made. That's where we're at right now. I have nothing. Or you can create one. So since I have nothing to look at, let's create our very first one. And we're going to keep it real simple. I'm going to show you a matching PDF. It's going to have students match their answers and it's going to grade it for me. What? Here we go. Give it a name and an optional description for you. Where it says background, this simply means to upload a JPEG, that's a picture file, or a PDF. Now there are other file formats that are supported, but the majority of us, we're really focused on that PDF idea. Those locked documents, we all know those portable document formats, we so want our students to be able to write on and we can't get it, well now we can. So when you click that box, it's going to open your device's downloads and you can choose a PDF from there. If it's something that's in Drive, I will post a video about how to download from Drive in order to upload into this or anything else you may need to use that skill for. But for now, this will support a PDF that is up to 12 pages long. You'll see that in the next video. Each page will show up separately and you could choose to unselect or select with a red box just by clicking which pages you want to include. For this one, we're keeping it basic. One page, we're going to do a matching. Again, super streamlined and intuitive. I have a drop down menu. We'll go through this in other videos. For right now, I just want you to see drop down menu and quick icons. So I know that I can, what I want the students to do is digitally draw a line from here to here, match these up, and I want this to grade it for me. Man, that sounds great. Watch how easy. Insert, I can choose matching from here, okay? Step one for matching is to draw the boxes. I'm gonna use the quick icon from here. Draw the boxes around the area that you want to make interactive. What am I trying to say? Well, anywhere that the student is going to click in that box is going to be where the computer recognizing it's starting to try to match this with something over here. So you're just simply clicking on match, drawing a box. All right. Now, remember I talked about grading? Well, I have my areas drawn. Remember, this is the teacher portal. So now I need to tell teachermade.com which ones match up correctly. Here's how easy. Click on the box, find the match, hold shift, and click the match. So it's a click, Hold shift, click. Click, hold shift, click the match. Click, hold shift, click the match. 
I'm not dragging anything. I'm just simply clicking, pushing shift down, and clicking on the match. Now, the green indicates that all of these have been indicated as correct matches. And I do want to show you very quickly that up here on the right end of this menu, there are some very useful tools. The teacher can add a text box to show up. So if you want to give directions, you can. You can add an image. And all of this will be locked when the student uses this. And this is my favorite one, this little block slash eraser. If I know that this is already at the bottom and I want to hide this, I can click that eraser, draw a box, and it hides it. And um, it's okay for me to hide it because that information's down here. I might not want it to distract my students up at the top because I may want to draw a text box. And in that text box, I may want to edit the text to say name, right? So all of these things we're going to go over in other, in other um, videos, but know that you can draw your own text boxes. You can add in interactive boxes for the students to type in. So that's going to be on there. Here's where the student can type their name. And I now have this answers all selected so that teachermade.com can grade this. In the next video, I'm going to start from here, show you how to preview and assign.